What's one thing that fans can expect from the originals and what are you most looking forward to in this first season? I think that fans can expect a really different take on um, the supernatural world, you know, and a lot of film and, and television. Vampires and werewolves and witches are kept in the shadows, whereas in this show they're very much embraced and the humans know about the supernatural characters, they just turn a, bl turn a blind eye, which I think is a really cool take on, on something that's been done for a while. What are some things that we're going to see different for your character in the originals in comparison to the Vampire Diaries? I think Haley in the originals is a little bit softer. Um, you know, she, especially in the Vampire Diaries, she was definitely working for herself and, and she was working quite selfish, selfishly and not thinking about other people around her. And, and now that she's found out she's pregnant, she has to care about someone else besides herself. So I think we're going to definitely see a bit more of a uh, a bit more of a romantic um, side of Haley and, and less fiercely independent. I know there was some discussion about your family when you were talking to Professor Shane at one point. What can you tell us about your family? Haley still doesn't know. She came to New Orleans looking for her family and she found family of her own here, but she still hasn't found out anything about her parents or her foster parents, why she got kicked out of home when she was younger. Um, so I, I think that's something that's yet to be explored. And there's so many flashbacks on this show, so I'm really hoping that we'll have a flashback to angsty teenage Haley. <laughs> Do you know the origins of how Haley became a vampire? I mean, werewolf. werewolf, yes. The origins of how Haley became a werewolf, she knows that it was passed down from her parents, that she got the gene from, um, from her mother or father. But above and beyond that, she doesn't know. It was very young when her parents passed away. Um, your character starts the series off pregnant with Klaus's baby. Um, can you describe the emotional state that she's in in the beginning of the series? And do you know if the baby is going to be supernatural? When Haley finds out that she's pregnant, she is in, in a state of utter shock and disbelief. And regardless of all the super na supernatural elements, she's just like, oh God, I am a young woman and I, am not, I did not plan this pregnancy. But then she starts to realize that this child and herself are in some real danger. You know, the, the witches and, and obviously Marcel and his vampires have banned werewolves from the quarter and finding out that there's a pregnant werewolf in, in his town, uh, that's a big problem. Um, so, but yeah, she, I, but Haley, I think that's another part of the way Haley is feeling. She doesn't know what she's carrying. She doesn't know if it's a boy or a girl or a human or a werewolf or a vampire or a mix of the everything or a demon child and I think that's what scares Haley the most. She doesn't know what she's carrying. You've talked about Haley being softer in the originals. Has preparing for playing her in the originals been different for how you prepared for the role in the Vampire Diaries? Um, preparing for Haley in this show, uh, no, I think, you know, innately she's still the same person and she's still very strong willed and independent and, and tough. But I think she just has to think more about what else she's um, protecting. And it's not just herself. And it's not like she's going out on these kamikaze missions with only herself to harm. You know, she's starting to think about a baby as well. And that's something that I have to think consciously when I'm reading these scenes and reminding myself of a way that she would react knowing that she's caring for something else besides herself. So do you feel like you're dialing into your maternal instincts, kind of? Yeah, I just did a scene and I was reading what to expect when you're expecting. And I did that scene for the last like four hours. I feel like I'm five chapters in. I feel like I know what to expect now. Um, <laughs> where do you hope to see Haley's character go in this first season of the originals? I hope to see um, Haley's relationships with, with the originals grow. I, I really like the relationship that she has with Elijah and, and how protective Elijah is of Haley. I like the friendship between Rebecca and, and Haley. I think it's really beautiful. I think they're very similar and they've had very similar family histories. Um, and I also like the, the, the kind of back and forth dynamic between Klaus and Haley, between resenting and protecting and caring for each other. Um, so I, yeah, I definitely want to see Haley get some allies so that she's not tackling this by herself. We, will we see romantic interest this season for Haley, uh, maybe with the baby daddy? 
the baby daddy, I don't necessarily see much romance between Haley and Klaus, no. I think, you know, they, they got into this thinking it was never going to go any further than one night and they are dealing with the consequence of, the, of a pregnancy, an unplanned pregnancy, but I think, you know, they're just going to more bond together as parents and, and less in a romantic way. Is it hard to mask your accent at all? or? You know, I, it's funny, There's, it, it's easier when I'm around Americans, I just start talking American, but we have Claire Australian, Joseph English, Daniels from New Zealand, like there's so many different accents flying around, so it, it sometimes get a, gets a little tricky, but you know, I have an accent coach and, and just listening to Americans talk is good. This fall, the blood will flow. You might try to dial down your glee. Thursday, October 3rd, the night that raised the stakes is back. Make yourself right at home. The season premiere of The Vampire Diaries, followed by the delicious new series, The Originals. Quite an operation. Don't miss a single bite. That would be tragic. The season premiere of The Vampire Diaries, followed by a special premiere event of The Originals. Thursday, October 3rd on The CW.